Hi. Um, things are good. Things are easy to change, which is why they're good. Up, down, left, right, all around. You're fine. Um, I had a, a request from one of my consumers, subscribers, or commenteers to make a video about Minecraft. And I'm going to. Uh, Jay Hearn. J-H-E-A-R-N-E. -E. Thanks for the comment. And, uh, Let's talk a little bit about Minecraft. It's a game. It's good. It's really good. Actually, yeah, you know what I like about it? It's $25. It's a one-time purchase. And uh, it's, a, it's a, this free, open-form building game. It's a sandbox game, I guess you might call it. Um, you can play, you can make a server, you can play by yourself, or you can have your friends come join your server, you can join one of your friends' servers, or you can join the server that's already created. Different servers have different mo or different plugins, and you can get mods for the game to alter the play style, but it's predominantly pretty basic. You start off with nothing in the middle of the wilderness, and uh, before nighttime comes and all the creatures come out to kill you, you've got to find cover, basically. Dig yourself into a wall, like it's a... and. Uh, and like just seal it off till morning comes or whatever. If you know, but the point of the game is obviously it's called Minecraft. It's about a crafting, digging and crafting and building. But it's crafting, and you have to figure out how to craft what. Like, do you need a torch? You need a torch because monsters don't spawn in the light; they'll spawn in the dark. Uh, so we spent the first night just dug into a wall and. Shannon was like, I, I need to find out how to build a torch. I was like, we'll figure it out. He was like, I need to look online. I was like, no, don't do it. Because I'm all about the challenge of these games. I like figuring it out on my own. Can't stop someone from being who they are, though. So Shannon looked up how to build a torch. And all of a sudden, we had light in our cave. And it was a little concerning. Um, since then, Bryce has joined. Zach's joined. Kevin's joined. Uh, Charles has joined. We've all added to this and we built kind of a huge castle with elevators and stairs and mountains and like bridges and we grow pumpkins and cows we have in a big pen and Shannon was working on these these levers and shit to like open doors and really cool really really fun 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 game and I highly suggest picking it up the, the problem is, my problem with it is that, like I said, I like to have a challenge. I'm all about the challenge. And the game really is kind of finite in that category. It's more of a fun game of just kind of building things with your friends or by yourself. There's a challenge there. Stay alive at night. Don't be stupid. Don't go out into the darkness alone with no armor and expect to come back alive. You know, you might, but you might not. But, uh... Since Shannon had the server, he decided to get some plugins, and one of them was this ore detector plugin or whatever, or maybe it was part of the server. It's a bucket server. You can make your server a bucket server. And uh, so now they're able to, we're all able to turn on our ore detector, and it's basically like a metal detector. So if you're walking along and there's like diamond six blocks under you, this thing will go off and say, diamond six blocks away. And that to me ruins the game because I think the greatest part of the game, the most fun I was having in the game is exploring and outward and exploring downward and mining and looking for iron and gold and diamond and metal and all these things. So when I have this ore detector go off that tells me that it's there before I find it, it's kind of cheap. Um, Shannon and Bryce love it because they are kind of power gamers and uh, I should say Bryce is a power gamer. Shannon is kind of a power gamer. I'm not a power. I like to play a lot, and I like to level up. So in that state, the way you could call me a power gamer, but I've kind of given up cheating in video games for four years ago or so. Like, the only time I'll really cheat in a video game is if I've gone over a part and I missed something, and I've got to go back and find it, but it's like going to take me like hours of my life to comb through this game to find this one thing that I missed. Then I'll like look online for where it is. But I don't want to ruin the experience. I don't want to pay money for something and then cheat on it and ruin it. Um, I would rather, if I'm going to put, put time or money into something, I, I want it to be the actual experience. I want it to be in its purest form a lot of times. 
So since they've got the ore detector, they just stockpiled diamond. And granted, they have spent a lot of time doing it, but it's like they have ten times more diamond than they would have had. And that's like the best metal in the game. You know, if you have a diamond sword, diamond armor, and diamond pickaxe, a diamond shovel, like this is what I have on my guy right now. It's like, uh, what else is there to do? Go to the end? Well... When Zach had admin status, he created the end portal in his inventory just by typing in <laughs> add end portal into his inventory. And he built an end portal, and we went to the end, and the end was very anticlimactic. Um, and my fear with Minecraft now is that it was in beta for two years, and it was just getting better and better and better and better and better in beta. Everyone was like, I remember playing it right when it came out two years ago, and it was so crappy, so basic, not fun. I put it down. Just a few months ago, finally, so Shannon was like, you know, I'd really like to try Minecraft. I was like, yeah, actually, yeah. We were playing Star Wars online, and the server went down for patching, and he was like, I want to try Minecraft. I was like, yeah, dude, let's do it. So we bought Minecraft, and uh, it was fucking awesome. It still is fucking awesome. Um, but, like I said, now that the game is uh, $25, and it's released, basically, it's in its final form, there's, I don't think there's going to be much more added to the game. So, I don't, I don't, there's just not much to the game, challenge-wise. It's not a very big adventure game. Like, if you ever play Skyrim, um, I have a level 61 character on Skyrim, and I, I should play Skyrim again. I've just been, so I've been months. Since Star Wars came out, I've played nothing but Star Wars, Skyrim, or Star Wars, uh, you know, Minecraft. And this new game, Worm, uh, W-U-R-M, Worm. Uh, pretty good so far. It's kind of like Ultima Online meets Skyrim meets Minecraft. It's made by the, uh, it was developed by uh, the same guy that made Minecraft. Notch is his name. He was the lead developer on this on this game. Uh, where, and I just started tr playing that. It's like six fifty a month. I wanted to give it a try. I'm looking for like the right game, you know. And I don't like putting money monthly fees into a game if it's not like great. And Worm looks like it has a lot of potential to be really really good. It's a very, very slow-paced game. But, you know, I don't want to get too far off track of Minecraft. The great thing is it's free to play forever. We own it. We can play it whenever, wherever. If they do release stuff, we have the game. I, I would suggest, if you're looking for a fun game to play, to play Mi to pick up Minecraft. Or just try out the demo, which you can do on the website, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's not much of an adventure game. Like, you know, there's towns in the game, but... Right now, the towns are like, there's people walking around the towns, and you can't talk to them or interact with them at all. They don't do anything, and you can kill them, and nothing happens. It's kind of lame. So I've got it. You know, it's pretty awesome to see. We'll see where it goes. I don't know. Overall, 6 out of 10. Maybe I'm just in a 6 out of 10 mood right now, but... I think if, if we weren't cheating... That game would still have a lot of appeal to me, so maybe I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And I'm talking overall 7 out of 10. Gameplay, I mean, it's got some 10 out of 10s in some areas. Like creativity, that thing is a 10. That game is one of the most creative. If you're a creative person and you like building things and painting, plotting things and planning things, Minecraft is the shit. But once you get it all built, there's just not much to do. So, try it out. Let me know what you think.